are you guys doing? Mia? What say you, Mia? Mia? What say you? Oh, Mia. Why don't you tell the camera about your troubles and I don't think anybody wants to know about my troubles. Let's vlog, right? Come on, Tom. Tell them what you're doing. What are you doing right now? You gonna watch the start? The short course? We're gonna watch the start of the short course. It is one cold day. My hands are frozen. Like, probably about an hour 
hang out, get warm, eat some food, and get dressed. But I got all signed up this morning. Uh, we had a little like electrical issue at the motorhome this morning that uh, I was kind of panicking trying to find a, a fuse. Ended up being uh, like a fuse on the inverter. So lessons learned there. Yeah, should be a good day if, it, if, it, if I don't get too cold. Hi, Tori. Hi, 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 Tori. You can't get to me. You can't get to me. Oh, you can't get to me. You can't get to me. Oh, you're in much better shape this time around. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My lens is all fogged up. That's how cold it is out there. Super windy, too. Really windy. But I do see some lighter clouds in the horizon, so hopefully it clears up a little bit. Okay, it's go time. L quarter to 11, actually it's yeah, 11.15, quarter after 11, so. Ready starts in 15 minutes. I need to get out there, get the bike warmed up, so hopefully it starts on the starting line. <laughs> Anyways, cold, windy, let's do this. Yeah. I'll find you. Yeah. Oh, 
Class F Tom. Man, I got that for you. Thank you, man. Yep. God, I hope this thing stays okay. on. When you get to the mud hole, stay way left. Okay. Don't even go tight. Stay way left. Okay. Check That'll out. make up some time. Get the outside line? Yeah. Way outside line.
That, that was a race. So, I'm gonna get in the shower and clean myself because I'm wet, I'm sweaty. And when I get out, let me explain the race. All right, so today didn't go exactly how I planned. Um, I'm gonna try and make this quick because we're getting ready to go to bed, but today there were struggles. Number one, losing my seat like first two to five miles in sucked. That was like uh, was such a bummer. And then to have it fall, fall off like multiple times and then just kind of have to sit down and roll through all these whoops because the track is just like nothing but whoops. So if you were one of those people that passed me while I was just putting, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't get off the seat obviously because the seat was going to fall off and uh, turning around and grabbing the seat was was not not something i wanted to do luckily tom i don't know his last name i can't remember his last name but his name was tom and he helped me out with an eight millimeter wrench i just robbed some bolts off my bike and and threw it up into the seat and was able to uh, get back on the track but i'm pretty sure at that point i was dead last absolutely dead last i think it was probably like I don't know, five, six minutes probably messing around, getting the seat back on or getting a bolt. Um, sure felt like 10 to 15 minutes, but it was probably, you know, I don't know, five, six, six minutes or something. But it was enough time to pretty much get behind every single person. <laughs> so I did a lot of passing. As you can see, if, you, if you've if you made it this far in the video, I passed a lot of people. And, um, and I'm actually kind of impressed with my result. It wasn't, like, great, but... Uh, you know, at least I was able to kind of charge through the pack and make it back up kind of where I belong. Would have been better if I would have been able to just stay up there, but um, they started uh, open A with the double A's, so it was I was on the front line. It was kind of pretty nerve wracking, but it was it was cool. I got somewhat of a a good start, if you will. The guys <laughs> threw up the flag like. I don't, I don't, I, there was probably like half of the line that was ready for it, but luckily I paid attention to the flagger and I sensed that he was going to pull the flag and sure shit he did. And there was a lot of people <laughs> standing with their pants around their ankles. Um, so anyways, yeah. And you know, the starts, I'm not a big fan of the starts, so I probably could have hauled ass and tried staying up in the front, but, um, I probably would have been outside of my comfort zone. So, um, I really kind of just kind of somewhat backed off a little bit at the start and just kind of let the, the double A's pass me and so I didn't really have I didn't really want to get pushed off the track or I didn't want to hit a corner too fast and not be able to stop so um, I kind of just slowed down and I, there's no reason for me to haul I, I usually just sustain the same speed throughout so if I go blow my energy on the start then I'm no good you know the rest of the time but yeah the mud hole today <laughs> It should have been an alternate route, I think, for that mud hole. You know, I feel bad for, you know, the kids and, and some of the more beginner riders doing the long course that had to go through that mud hole. I think it was actually part of the short course, too. So, you know, if that's the case, like, that mud hole swallowed a lot of people. And it wasn't just the beginners. There were some double A's in there. Um, there was B riders. Like, it was across the board getting stuck in there. You just didn't know what was going to happen underneath the water so it was kind of just a guess and hope you picked a good line so it would have been nice to see maybe an obstacle like that on the second day that way you didn't waste your bike the first day and not be able to race the second day um, but you know I get it it was probably really fun <laughs> for you guys to to watch a struggle through that mud hole but 
Um, yeah, other than that, though, it was a, a good day. Pretty cold um, to begin with and very windy. A lot of the straight sections, I couldn't even hear my bike. Um, it was so windy. So, But you know what? There was hardly any dust, so um, that's cool. I think the conditions were actually pretty muddy. So, yeah, um, fourth place for the day, I think fourth or fifth place um i'm kind of i kind of seem to be like stuck in that little area so <laughs> um hopefully tomorrow will bring better things and um, results i'm hoping so i also wanted to give a shout out to josh for helping me remove my left or right hand guard one of them was falling off during the race and flopping around so i pulled into the pits they helped me with fuel and remove that hand guard so thanks bud for the, the help in the pits appreciate it and thanks tom for helping me out with the with my seat problem so <laughs> thanks to those people all right so before i get off the phone and, and go eat some food and hopefully get a good night rest i did want to say something so i've noticed and had people comment or at least tell me that when they watch my videos on their phone that you know starting about halfway through the video to towards the end the 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 sound and video sync like separates and i don't know what the cause is for that like if you watch it on a computer um all the frame breaks and everything are pretty much synced but uh yeah it's definitely a case when i watch it on my phone it definitely kind of breaks apart so if you get to the end of my videos and my lip syncing to the audio is completely off um, I found that I can just pause the video and like rewind or fast forward or I think maybe even just a pause will work but then it'll sync back up and and it won't be such like a terrible video that's out of sync so um, sorry about that I know there's fixes online for you know Androids and Apple phones um, I just don't know what those are but I, I definitely wanted to comment on that because it's um, it's pretty annoying <laughs> if you're trying to watch my videos and it just looks like crap because nothing syncs so anyways try that pause method and see if it works for you or get a computer and watch it tomorrow is a uh, white knuckle gp so um yes yeah, same course just ran backwards uh, hopefully the you know the whoops square edged whoops will be pointing the opposite way this time so it should be uh, more so rollers than really sharp edged whoops so looking forward to that um yeah, early morning race tomorrow. I haven't looked or even touched my bike, but I was able to wash it. So it is clean in my boots and helmet. It's all, it's all clean. Um, I just haven't gone through the bike and changed the air filter and, and uh, you know, kind of checked it over and make sure it was good to go. So I need to wake up pretty early and do that. And yeah, hopefully get a good night's rest and uh, make a good day tomorrow. <laughs>